Hey guys, welcome to New by Design. Today we're going to do part two of our uh, SimCity build series. Um, in the first part we talked about you know, how to, in 30 minutes of gameplay, build a city that'll generate you 13k per hour and not have any problems or uh, problems that are going to happen with that build. Also it was using no cheats. Uh, today's video is going to do the same thing. It's going to be 30 minutes of gameplay and it's going to continue from part one of our series. Uh, with the same city that we built there and we're going to upgrade and add additional stuff here so that we can hold more population. Uh, I'm going to try to prevent myself from using the entire map still um, just because I want to hold that part close to the water for some uh, cool stuff we're going to do later on. So the biggest thing we're going to do here is at the start we're just basically increasing the city size, adding roads, um, and again, we're trying to keep to some sort of easy to tear down later uh, build. You'll notice a uh, couple points early on in this video where I have to redo some streets that didn't quite go straight from last time. So we're just going to fill in that extra area with zoning. Uh, again, we're keeping in mind that we want the residential stuff upwind and commercial and well, mostly just the business stuff downwind. So that doesn't do anything. You'll notice this is one of the teardowns we have to do just because how I built the city initially. Uh, the fire department was in the uh, wrong spot there, so we had to tear it down as well as some roads that we had just built there to kind of make everything so that traffic will flow easy. And we really want to have that center avenue there just to help ease with traffic. Eventually, we'll probably create a couple more avenues as well. Uh, we're gonna rebuild that fire hydrant as you can see in that short time period. We've already got a fire going. So we're gonna take this fire hall and we're gonna upgrade it. Right here you see that I add the sign on top of the fire hall. Uh, don't do that because then you can't add the alarm up there which increases your response time. So what I'll do later on in a different video is I'll remove that and put on the uh, alarm so it's a faster response. So for now as well, we don't have any medical clinic yet, so we're going to go ahead and put up a medical clinic, and we're going to upgrade it a little bit as well, and that should keep our sims happy. You'd notice that uh, I was having problems here with some sick sims, and you can see that right now by all those unhappy orange colored faces that are blinking around the map there. So we're going to eventually upgrade that again, we're just kind of waiting for some more money. Just checking on the uh, Mega Corporation there, making sure everything's okay, and you'll notice that it still is. We've still got a fair amount of happy sims, and to keep the new areas happy, we're going to add ponds or parks. Mostly I stick to ponds at the start here, but you'll see shortly on I start changing it up and adding a couple things. You can see because of how many sims, six sims we've had, that we uh, already have to upgrade our hospital or our clinic, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Um, a fair amount of upgrading to it, so it'll hold quite a few patients, and we shouldn't have any problems with it here anytime soon. Occasionally you'll get these uh, requests to do missions and stuff like that, but I don't really do them right away. Um, you're going to upgrade your hall. I ended up upgrading it to the safety department first. I would definitely recommend, after playing through it, that you guys go ahead and do utilities first, because there is no other cities in this uh, world that I built here yet, so that's going to cause a problem. And occasionally make sure you check on your dump truck there, click on it and see if there's any abandoned buildings like you see there was a bunch there that I had to uh, remove. Now we're going to add uh, another production line for Omega, and the more production lines you have, the more Omega you can get to different buildings, which again is all about your profit. You'll see my profit here is at 15,000, eventually it will go down lower as I start to upgrade roads and stuff, but that kind of evens itself out because your population is now able to get bigger and all that kind of stuff. So you'll see here now I'm upgrading roads and again that's going to lower my revenue per hour because they cost more to maintain. And we're going to keep on doing that and again the reason that we do upgrade the roads is so that you can have more population, the density of the land is all increased um, and you'll see some at some points when you start 
removing roads and all that kind of stuff and upgrading them, you'll see where you made errors before, and that's a good time to start removing the roads. Right here, you'll notice that uh, the garbage dump in the back corner there is starting to pile up, so we're going to add an incinerator to try to hit that off before it becomes a problem and our dump gets full because if you let your dump get full, it's really annoying um, and you have to basically plow the waste into the ground, which is just a ton of ground pollution and you want to avoid that if at all possible. So you're going to add your mayor's house now just because we hit the over 10,000 population mark and you want to do it near other residential areas so that you can have have more happy sims and increases their land value. Now we're going to add an Omega HQ because my goal of this city was to have drones because well for one drones are awesome for safety response for fire and police and they're a lot cheaper to run and operate overall. They provide a lot faster uh, fires they put out and the police response is a lot faster as well so I like to definitely add drones to all of my cities that I'm doing at least for the ones that I'm trying to make high money on. So we have that up and now we're just going to wait until our Omega Corp makes a certain amount of money because it needs to make a certain amount of money before you can upgrade and add yourself a robotics division. So we're going to let that play out for a little bit here and in the meantime we're going to add some uh, more area for uh, businesses and residential and obviously the uh, commercial as well to keep the Sims happy and give them a place to shop. Uh, you'll notice right by the HQ I left uh, two blank areas there and that's just so that we can add divisions later on. So now we're going to add some different types of parks. Now these ones reach out obviously to a far broader range of people so it'll keep uh, happier sims and increase the value. Uh, and again now we're just kind of filling in blanks that we had here with uh, residential and commercial uh, business zoning. And I didn't happen to notice but at the time I was actually out of water there so I had my Omega stop producing. So that's definitely something that you want to keep paying attention to. Fortunately, I noticed it pretty quickly and was able to resolve it, but you can see that some businesses closed down as a result. So we just uh, tear those down really quickly and move on. So here again is kind of a new barrier that I made as well, and that's good because it prevents you guys from having the same thing. Uh, because I didn't upgrade the roads, they I can't add the uh, transit yet. So now what we're going to go ahead and do is upgrade all of the avenues to the streetcar avenues. Then we'll be able to add some public transit, which is going to help us with population huge. It's going to, and with population increasing, that also increases the amount of money that you have to work with as well. Um, it does take quite a bit of time to do this, but I think this is a lot better way than trying to start out with uh, these type of roads because what happens is they are really expensive to maintain and you won't be able to afford to maintain them early on so wait until your population's at a level where you're able to actually pay for all these roads and the maintenance of them so now that we've got them all upgraded we're going to add a streetcar the streetcar is pretty much my favorite mode of transport because it's pretty small and you can add for a streetcar shop, you can add quite a few, and they do transport sims around really quickly. Um, also, it doesn't really, you don't really have to do anything except for add streetcar stops. So your roads can be upgraded to have streetcar access to them, and you're just adding stops. It's not, it's, it's not like building a rail system or anything like that. You don't have to dedicate a specific uh, area for that, and that's kind of nice, and I add a lot of stops here. You'll see, um, it's just easier. They don't. It doesn't really slow them down that much, and I figure having more stops is a, kind of a better setup really for it anyways. Uh, so just checking out my water again here. It looks like I'm producing quite a bit of extra water for now. Um, and yeah, so now we have all the stops. We're gonna add a little bit of additional residential here because we're trying to uh, reach some goals so that we can build the robotics. And we just hit that, so now we're gonna throw up our uh, robotics building so that we can start creating those drones for uh, sims to shop and to put out fires and arrest the criminals in our city. So here we go, we're just going to add our drone assembly line. Now, drone assembly line is pretty expensive, you can see there it costs uh, quite a bit of money. Um, the big part is what we're going to be doing next here, which is adding a processor line. Now processors are really expensive, um, so they're they're, they're quite a cost to keep up with. Uh, right now you just seen that we replaced our coal plant with uh, oil and that's again as part of the 
drones that we're going to be doing. Um, we're going to add a utilities thing here so that we can change our sewer outage pipes into treatment plants. So now we're going to remove all the sewage outflows here. And just because they're terrible ground pollution, and well, actually they're pretty bad air pollution as well, so you don't want anything downwind of them. And even though we don't have anything downwind of them, we're still going to replace them, um, just to try to prevent that uh, brutal um, ground pollution from happening. Um, and again, I'll go back to the uh, drone assembly line. We haven't done it yet, but we're going to get to it where we go to our our trade center and we're going to take away the coal plant or the coal uh, storage area because we don't have a coal power plant anymore. Um, the reason we're doing that is so that we can add a processing uh, chip area, storage area for it. So you'll see now the sewage flows a lot better with the treatment plant and it can be expanded quite a bit whereas the uh, outflow plants don't really allow for very much. So you'll see our drone assembly line is there but it has no processors. So being as that we don't need this uh, for the storage plant anymore, we're going to remove it and in its place we are going to add a uh, processor chip uh, storage area so that we can order those. Um, I initially forget to uh, turn it on so that it's importing, but I get to it pretty quickly after. It doesn't matter anyways because I don't have enough uh, money to actually pay for any right now. So you'll notice our population is up to 15,000 and we're making 18,000 or 19,000 it just ticks right now. So now we're going to remember to put import so that we can actually get some chips. Yeah, we don't have enough money to uh, actually have any just yet, but we will very shortly here. So it's good that we got to that when we did. Um, yeah, now it's just kind of looking around here to see if there's anything else that I need to uh, do to increase uh, traffic or anything like that. Uh, we just hit our first import of processor chips and they'll be going very quickly to our plant here to make our first drones. And you can see we've made our first two drones. Um, those drones, once it starts pumping them out more, uh, eventually we'll have to add another Omega factory so that we can be producing more drones and more Omega itself. Um, but yeah, we have our drones there. We've got a bunch coming out and that will be awesome for our next video. Uh, right now our population sits at 15,795 and we're just about to hit 20,000 profit per hour. That profit is going to go up quite a bit in the future. Thanks for watching.